Over the years, many of the self-serve ad platforms have been trying to make simplified versions of their campaign setup process. Now, as an advertiser who's been in this industry for 10 plus years, and this is my daily job being in the accounts every day, this isn't my favorite trend. I like to be able to pull all the levers, use all the tools, and change all the settings to get exactly what I want out of the campaigns to make sure that I'm hitting my client's goals. But not everybody's like me. Not everybody's in the accounts every day. Some people are just getting started and they don't necessarily know what they're doing with some of those advanced settings. Other people are under the gun, just need something up and running now. And other people are small business owners. Advertising is not their job. Something just needs to get moving. They don't have time to learn it, but they need to make sure that they're competing where their customers are to make sure that they're getting eyeballs, making sales. So one of the most recent campaign types for this is from Facebook and they're called tailored campaigns. So in this video, what I wanna run you through are what tailored campaigns are, what Facebook is trying to achieve with them, and then we'll walk through how to set up some of the campaign types for tailored campaigns, and then I'll give you some of my thoughts for how they might be useful in your accounts. I'm starting off in a Facebook help article that introduces tailored campaigns because they have this fun little graphic, but also this article is meant to give an overview of what tailored campaigns are and to try and talk a little bit about what Facebook is trying to achieve with these tailored campaigns. So as you can see here, you're supposed to efficiently create ads that are preloaded with optimal settings and backed by the most advanced ad technology. And the little headline down here, maximize performance with minimal effort. So again, a lot of this is going to be about making sure that your ads are up and running without having to have lots of expertise in actual advertising to get things moving. So let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. This is just a little bit more information saying that these campaigns will have built in performance drivers, which means that you set the objective and they'll preload the campaigns with the right settings to achieve your advertising goal. We'll wait until we see what those look like first. Setup is made simple. Mostly they're saying we'll do the setup for you so you don't have to, and then it optimizes automatically. So those pre-selected settings that they talked about will help you optimize toward the conversion goals or other goals that you're trying to achieve. So we're gonna walk through some tailored campaign setups, but I did wanna bring up this step-by-step -step instruction only because it shows the different campaign types that will be eligible for tailored campaigns. Right now you can use sales, lead, engagement, or traffic objectives. And we're gonna go through as many of these as we can, just so you can see what the setup looks like. Now the last thing I wanna point out on this page is in an FAQ section down here at the bottom. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way down past this customer testimonial. And I actually landed on the one that I want, which is what ad settings do I manually input when creating a tailored campaign, since most of this is gonna be done for you. The three pieces you get to add in are going to be the audience, ad creative, and destination outside of choosing the objective that you're trying to optimize for in the first place. So with that brief overview, let's hop into one of our client accounts that has tailored campaign set up. And as I mentioned earlier, these are only in a few select accounts. So you'll have to bear with us while we blur things out, but we literally only have one account that has tailored campaigns in them because they're still pretty rare. To get started creating a tailored campaign in Facebook, we need to go up and click create. And then we need to choose one of the objectives that is compatible with tailored campaigns. So again, that's gonna be traffic, engagement, leads, and sales. And we're gonna go in the reverse order, right up the list and start off with sales. Click continue. And the first thing I want you to be aware of is you will know if your account has access to tailored campaigns because this step will pop up. There's no other indicator, but if you go to create a campaign and you don't see this box that asks you to choose a campaign setup, then you do not have access to tailored campaigns just yet. You still have the option to switch back to a manual sales campaign if you want to, and that's how you would do it, simply by clicking on that. But for this, we're gonna leave the Advantage Plus shopping campaign and click continue. This is what the tailored campaign setup will look like. First, you'll notice that there's only two levels over here on the left. We've got the campaign, and then one down below for the ad creative. There's not a different setup for campaign, ad set, and ad creatives. It's only down to two. And you'll notice this section up here at the top that says maximize performance and find new customers. But there's this little gear button here that says see all preset settings. So if we click on this, these are all of the different settings that you would normally choose during your manual campaign setup process 
that have already been pre-selected for you. Your objective is still sales, you chose that, but your bid strategy is defaulted to highest volume. They've turned off dynamic creative, which is interesting. Your placements are going to be opted into all of them, which is now considered advantage plus placements. You're optimizing for conversions and the age is 18 and over. In a tailored campaign, all of these things have been selected for you. And honestly, for most advertisers, this is fine. Choosing placements or using a different bid strategy is a bit more advanced. So if you need those options, you're gonna need to choose manual setup. But again, for most people, this is just fine. So I'm gonna close these. You can then give your campaign a name which I wouldn't suggest you leave as this, but since I'm not gonna actually save this, I'm gonna go ahead and skip past it. Special ad categories are gonna be the same, but then as we start to scroll down, we're gonna see the next thing we get to choose is the conversion location. Whether you want it to be just website, website and app, you can choose your pixel. Unfortunately for this account, we have some setup issues with the pixel itself. We don't actually use it. So we are seeing some errors here, but I don't think that's integral to this setup because you can see at least what you get to use. But there are likely going to be some additional options where you get to choose a different conversion event, but it also could just default to purchase. Again, since we don't have this in other accounts and this one specifically has an issue with the pixel, I can't tell you specifically what the conversion event setup is going to be, but my guess is you can tell it which actions you want. Next option down here at the bottom is going to be audience location. You can choose what countries you want to target or which ones you want to exclude. And if you need to change this, as you can see here, you can just hover over it, make some adjustments. But if you need to make sure there are locations that you shouldn't deliver your ads, you can adjust those in audience controls. We're not gonna get into those right now. We might have a video on audience controls a little bit later. Now let's keep scrolling down to the reporting section. And here you can't do anything, but you can see that an audience type breakdown is available. So you can include existing customers in the account settings to see audience type breakdowns between your new and existing customers. So again, this is going to also live at the account settings if you need to adjust this or if you want to opt into custom audiences. For now, we're gonna skip that. And for the next section, we still have control over the budget and budget type, whether it's daily budget or lifetime. You can still set your ad schedule, you can set an end date, and you can have them run on a schedule but only when you use lifetime budgets. So just the same as normal. And then if we scroll down for the rest of the page, you can see ad optimization and delivery, seven day click or one day view. You still have the four available attribution options for this. But then the thing that's a little bit different for this setup is that there is a suggested ad down here. I'm not going to hover over it because we'll just have to blur it out. But if you were to highlight this ad, you would see a preview of it over here, much larger, so you can make a decision as to whether you want to use it or not. But this ad is active in a different campaign in this account. So the suggested ads that Facebook is using are coming from other places in your account. If you wanted to use it, all you'd need to do is click on it and then import all ads. But for now, I just wanna click next because typically you would set up your ad creative more in this manual fashion, and you can still do that with a tailored campaign. So we can scroll down, ad setup is gonna be pretty much the same. You can create single image, carousel, collection, multi-advertiser. You still have all the controls that you want to down here, and then you get to choose the destination where you want that user to go. And then you can set up all of your additional tracking down here at the bottom. All you would need to do is then click publish, and your campaign would be live. So that's a sales campaign objective. Now let's run through the next option, which I believe is going to be leads. Again, we'll just come in, click create, choose the leads option, continue. And again, we have the tailored campaigns already highlighted for our leads campaign. So we'll click continue. Just like the other option, we can see all of the preset settings that we have here. Now the difference for this one is that you can actually edit this campaign to make it manual if you need to adjust any of the preset settings. There are obviously less here. We still have the objective, bid strategy, placements, and ad delivery, but we don't have age added here. And there might be another one missing. But if you need to change any of them, you can easily change the campaign to manual at this point. For now, I'm just gonna close this. You can still have the ad category. You can change the conversion location away from instant forms to messenger, Instagram, or calls if you'd like to. And then within this campaign setup, you have the budget, schedule, end date, all that good stuff. But here you actually get to create your audience in a way that you could for the sales campaigns. Both conversion types, whether it's a lead form or a conversion action from your pixel, Facebook should be able to take indicators and optimize based on how users engaged with those. But my guess is that Facebook can get a lot more starting information from your pixel than it can from a brand new lead forms campaign 
So that might be why we have a little bit more control. But as you can see here, all of the different audience settings are the same as they would be for a regular manual campaign. You even have the option to change all of your different detailed targeting to be more specific to any of the other interests or behaviors or anything like that you would want. So now let's click next. And just like with the sales objective campaign, you have all of the controls that you would want for ad setup, creative, the destination, any of the different tracking options you would want. And then the only last thing you would need to do is click publish and your campaign would be off and running. The next campaign type I wanna look at is going to be engagement. So let's create a new campaign, choose engagement, and then we'll click continue. Now, one thing I wanna call out specifically for tailored engagement campaigns is that there's only the option for tailored message campaigns. We do not have the option for any of the other engagement actions like we normally do for a manual engagement campaign. So if you want to use engagement objectives, but optimize toward any of the other goals outside of generating messages to your account, you'll need to use something that is not a tailored campaign. But if you're open to using messages, or if that's what you wanted to do in the first place, all you need to do is click continue. All of the preset settings are also in here for you. This list is a lot larger, again, kind of like the sales objective, but just like the lead form campaign, if you decide that maybe you don't want to use a message as your call to action, you can edit this campaign to be manual very easily. Just like a regular messaging campaign, you get to choose the destination for your messages, whether it's Messenger, Instagram, or WhatsApp, if you have one of those connected. All of the budget and schedule controls are still there. In the audience section, you get most of the full controls that you have with manual campaign types. You can see this message here that says you're reaching more people with advantage lookalike, and that's turned on for this specific message objective. Facebook will automatically expand your lookalike audiences to include more people who may find your ads relevant if it's likely to improve performance. So what that means is if Facebook thinks that somebody outside of your audience has a high likelihood of messaging you, they're gonna include that person in your audience. After you get all of your audiences set up, you would just need to click next. And now we're into the message setup. And again, just like a regular message campaign, you get all of the different controls that you want for your ad creative, the message template, and any of the tracking as well. Once you had that set up, you would just click publish and you'd be ready to go. Now, if you paid close attention during the portion where we walked through the objectives that are compatible with tailored campaigns, you'll remember that there were four different options. If I go to create, I get to start a new campaign. And the last option was traffic. Now, unfortunately for this account, when I click continue, it takes me into the full manual setup for a traffic campaign. I'm not entirely sure why we have three campaign objectives that are designated as tailored and one that's not, even though it's outlined that it should be. But as I mentioned early on, if you do not have that tailored message option pop-up window right after clicking create campaign, and it directs you directly to this, that means that you cannot create a tailored campaign either for that campaign objective or in that ad account entirely. So this is just to let you know what that would look like if tailored ads are not available for you. At some point, I would imagine this account will be opted into tailored campaigns for the traffic objective, but at this moment, I'm not able to walk you through that because they're not eligible. As I mentioned in the intro, lots of different ad platforms are trying to make the ad setup simpler for users who aren't like me and aren't constantly in the weeds of all the different settings, don't know what they do, get overwhelmed by it, and potentially are scared off by having everything be far too complicated. In the grand scheme of things, I would say Facebook is actually doing this process pretty well. Most of the preset campaign settings that are in there, whether it's highest volume, automatic placements, or the handful of other settings that they typically choose for you, I think are probably default and people don't really opt out of them anyway. So rather than forcing you to choose one bid strategy versus the other when you don't know what they mean, they just opt you into the one that is most common. Now again, this might not make sense for somebody who does this all day and this is your job, but if you're a business owner or somebody just getting started with this and you really just need to get something set up and running, I actually think Facebook tailored campaigns are doing a pretty good job. You still have lots of control over the audience, which many different platforms don't give you. You can still create all the ads exactly how you want them to. And you'll remember they actually turned off dynamic creative for the sales campaign objective, which is really interesting since other platforms try to simplify things by making ads dynamic in the first place. So while these are still being rolled out and tested, and I haven't personally used them, 
I actually think tailored campaigns could be a really good option for a lot of advertisers out there. And hopefully this walkthrough will give you a little bit more confidence in what tailored campaigns on Facebook are and might even help demystify the Facebook ads platform just a little bit to make sure that your business or your client's business is showing up in all the places that they should. And they're not missing out simply because the ad platform itself in the manual setup process can be a little overwhelming. Now, as I mentioned, I haven't run any of these myself and we only have one account that has access anyway. But if you have any additional questions or theories about tailored campaigns or anything else in the Facebook platform itself, for that matter, feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.